this box was insulated with one inch thick poly ISO on the back and on both the rails and on the ends, okay? So it's insulated on the inside. Then I went and I cut eight inch holes. Uh, one down here in this corner and one up there in that corner, okay? This is gonna be a horizontal uh, solar air collector. So the air is gonna move, come in here and get exhausted out there, all right? After I cut the holes, you gotta go to the home store and get like a starter duct. These things cost like five or six bucks each, these pieces of metal, okay? And you put them through there like, like that and I'll have to hook my ducting onto the other side, okay? After you stick the thing in there, the whole idea is you want this, you, you only want air guys to come in down here and you only want air to leave up there. So that's why you come around with like a silicone caulk, like a high temp silicone caulk, and you seal everything else. So air only comes in where you want it to and exits where you want it to, okay? The caulk I would recommend to do this with is a black 100% silicone caulk. This stuff is awesome. It's 100% waterproof. Um, you know, it costs five or six bucks. Um, and after you put in these little uh, starter ducts, like that. then you caulk around it to make sure that air is only going out um, and going in, into your ductwork and not leaking out in at any other place. So you caulk around it there and you caulk around it there. Here. Okay. And uh, I finished going over painting it. This stuff costs uh, like 12 or 13 bucks at Menards. It was cheaper than Farm and Fleet. Did not check Walmart. Um, I would definitely get a whole case of this. I used about half of it. This is a drywall uh, knife to cut drywall with. And I took this thing right here, which is the, um, the little piece of starter duct and I put where I want it and then I just traced around the outside and then um, I just used it, I just stuck it right in with the edge of that thing because it's sharp and I cut her and I cut, I trace it with the pencil first and then I cut it out so you got a hole there and a hole there. Now I'm going to take silicone 100% and I'm going to seal the edges because I don't want any air coming into the box. All right, folks, so we just finished doing the um, sealing of the perimeter and we used a 100% silicone um, tube. We used about one tube, a little less than one tube. And I came in here with my finger afterwards, guys, and I smoothed it out. Let's see all that. Okay. That goes around that for the whole perimeter. There's one of the holes that I, that I cut. And then the other one's down there, and you can see all that silicone. Okay. Here's what I used 100% of silicone. Lifetime guarantee, blah, blah, blah. Okay, real quick. If you use great stuff to seal the perimeter, of your um, insulation box, which sits inside your, your frame. 
this stuff will expand even the low expanding stuff will expand and it could push your um, frame your your foam frame out of alignment okay or it could, it could make stuff bow or pop or it could even push the glue off I've had that happen okay so my first recommendation this is my first time doing this but my first recommendation would be to use a silicone all right something that's gonna that's gonna be an air barrier okay the added benefit with this is this is an air barrier and it's an insulator but you do not want to get this stuff down into the cracks because then it's going to push everything open. Okay, that's what it's meant to do. This is an expanding foam. Even the low, the low expansion one, like the one in the blue can, which is a little more expensive, it's still an expanding foam. So um, if you can be very careful keeping this on the surface, you might be able to get away with it. If you want to be safe, just use a silicone. Um, now that we got the uh, box painted and we got it sealed on the outside, um, now I need to go on to the next steps and to spend a lot of time painting, guys. Honestly, probably a little bit overkill. And uh, I decided to do a horizontal layout, not a vertical one, because it just fits better here. Okay. You can see that the uh, silicone, 100% silicone, has since dried. So there it is right up there, all dry. Dry to the touch. And then I enlarged these holes from 6 inches to 8 inches. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the collector in there, and then I took this piece of wood here, I painted it black because I'm going to put a center support right here in the middle so that it can support those pieces of um, whatever that stuff is, it's like 25 bucks a sheet. Okay, here's my screen collector, guys. It's uh, three layers of screen. I did one in the middle, and then I wrapped a long piece around the end. And then I came in here with these little staples. See that? Okay. Good look at the end of it. And there's the other side. Get the idea. And here's this end, I just kind of bent it over. Like that. Okay. It's a three layer screen right there.